people of the purple butterfly here, otherwise known as people of seven, on Twitter and YouTube, people elsewhere on the internet, and my blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot block dot dot com and as you can see the Sally Henson's the line effects has held up rather nicely for a full two weeks I mean giving this nail time to grow back because if you look back at the video you will see this one has been filed literally off along with this one those two broke on me but the salon effect supposed to last 10 days it's been 14 and that includes the okay if you look real close you can see the ridge where they didn't quite fit my nails because even though it said one size fit all nails they haven't met anybody like me who have large nails because they are my nails and they're not you know, some attachment that's stuck on in an average size. That's why I don't get tips, because they don't fit me. Anyway, um, the nail color I had on at the time was called Fair Pinkum Dinkum, which made me laugh. It was a pale pink. But the problem with pale colors, they do tend to chip, and it has started cracking on the edges. So I took a color called Forget Now, which was a translucent, glittery pink, and went right over the top so it didn't change the zebra but as you can tell it left a kind of a pinkish purple glitter effect on it and it you know blended in that color much better so that way it wasn't a real obvious rich but I've already filed down my nails for the most part got a little rough edge right there anyway it's time to take the nail polish off. So I want to see, since, you know, it is made with nail polish and it's supposed to be able to remove really quickly if it can be done. But I want to show you something. This is my favorite spray bottle that I keep oils and such in. Um, mostly grapefruit oil and peppermint oil. But because grapefruit oil should be stored in a dark container and mine came in a clear bottle, I put my favorite tape on top of it so that way it has a dark surface to keep the oil from being occluded but check that out I got pink zebra on my nails I got pink zebra on my spray bottle and it just occurred to me I've been a pink zebra fan for a while this is my mirror hold on look at that it's got pink zebra on it too all the way around Anyway, I'm going to find out if this comes off as easily as it went on, but I'm expecting it to be a little bit challenging for the simple fact that I did put mm, a total of three layers of top coat on and the other nail polish color, so forth, so on. So I'm thinking I'll just saturate it and then try wiping it. And then I have a real, real cheap brand of nail polish remover for the simple fact that it costs a dollar and the good stuff costs more. <laughs> so this might be a bit of a challenge, but, oh, that's neat. I might take it partially off, because look, the zebra part stayed on and the color is starting to leave. Yeah. So now I can have black and white zebra maybe. Yeah, that would just be silly. Because then I would have to put more top coat on. Just for that to work. Actually, look. Is that neat or what? I think that's what I'm going to do. They're trying to move the color. Or trying to move the Sally Henson's nail salon effect, rather. I think I'm just going to try to move the color and see if I can have a black and white effect. You learn new stuff every day without even trying it and I seem to learn a bunch of fun stuff on YouTube. That's why I say random much. <laughs> yeah, look at that. 
Maybe I should just... I guess that's the fair thing from pink I'm showing up from the darker pink being taken off. I think I'm going to play around with this idea and come back and show you what I have. So instead of taking off the nail polish, I'm just going to do that. Scrub off a couple of layers of nail polish. Maybe put a top coat on what's left and see what that looks like. This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube. People of Elsewhere on the Internet. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.